Hi, I'm Kyle. And I'm Noah. Yeah, and he's Noah. And we're gonna tell you about the scarab beetle. Woo! Uh, uh, the scarab beetle is part of a larger family called the Scarabidea family. The family consists of over 30,000 beetles across the world. Beetles are often called scarabs or scarab beetles. The scarab is a stout bodied beetle that many have bright metallic colors and measure between 1.5 and 160 millimeter. They also have a distinctive club antenna that are comp composed of plates called lamella. They can make it into a ball or fan like leaf to sense odors. Front legs are made for digging. Awesome. The sea shaped larva called cribs are pale yellow or, or white. Most of the beetles that are adults are nocturnal. The larva usually stay underground or under trees that are not exposed to sunlight. Many scarab beetles are scavengers and they recycle dung, which is poo. Or carry on a dead animal or decaying plant. Things such as the Japanese beetle is an agricultural pest in ancient Egypt. A dung beetle was known as the scarabicer or something. Some of the most well-known beetles are the Japanese beetle, the dung beetle, the June beetle, rose chafer, rhinoceros beetle, the Hercules beetle, and the Goliath beetle. Several beetles in this family have shells which act as left-handed circular polarizers. That was the first discovered example of a circular polarization in nature. In Egypt, the scare beetle god Kafira was believed to push the setting sun along the sky in the same manner as the beetle with his ball of dung, which is pretty awesome. During the New Kingdom, scarab amulets were often put over the heart of mummified deceased. These heart scarabs were meant to be weighed against the feather of truth during the final judgment. The amulets were often inscribed with a spell from the Book of the Dead, which entreated the heart to do not stand as a witness against me. Oh, ain't that cute. Dung beetles are beetles that feed par partially or exclusively on feces. All these species belong to super fam the superfamily Scarabidae. Most of them to the subfamily Scarabini and Apidae of the family Scarabidae. This beetle can be also referred to as the scarab beetle. As most species of Scarabidae and uh, exclusively on fecal matter, the subfamily is often dubbed true dung beetles. There are dung feeding beetles which belong to other families such as the Geotrupidae. The Scarabidae alone comprises more than 5,000 species. Many dung beetles, known as rollers, are noted for rolling dung into spherical balls, which are used as a food source for or brooding chambers. Other dung beetles, known as tunneler, tunnelers, burying the dung when, wherever they find it. A third group of dwellers neither roll nor burrow. They simply live in manure. They are usually attracted by the dung burrowing owls to collect. It's back then. Uh, started dung beetles. Dung beetles live in many different habitats, including desert, farmland, forest, and grasslands. They do not prefer extremely cold or dry weather. They are found on all continents except Antarctica because nothing lives there. Dung beetles eat dung exerted by herbivores and omnivores and prefer that be produced by the former. Many of them also feed on mushrooms and decaying leaves and fruits. One type of. on shrooms. One type living in South America, Stichilium valgum, is a carnivore preying upon millipedes. Those that eat, eat dung do not need to eat or drink anything else because the dung provides all the necessary nutrients. Most dung beetles search for dung using their sensitive sense of sensitive smell. Some of the smaller species simply attach themselves to the dung providers to wait for the reward. After capturing the dung, a dung beetle will roll it following a straight line despite all obstacles. Sometimes dung beetles will try to steal the dung ball of another beetle. Yeah. So the dung beetles have to move rapidly away from a dung pile once they have rolled their ball to prevent it from being stolen. Oh no. Dung beetles can roll up to 50 times their weight, male orthopigus 
Taurus can pull 1,141 times their own body weight, the equivalent of an average, average person pulling six double-decker buses full of people. In 2003, researchers found that one species of dung beetles, the African Scarabus sampinus, navigates by using polarization patterns in moonlight. The discovery is the first proof that any animal can be polarized moonlight for orientation. Wait, what paragraph? The rolling throw dung. Uh, roll and bury a dung ball either for food or storage for making a brooding ball. In later, in later case, two beetles, one male and one young, following behind. In some cases, the male and female will roll together. Cause they roll under dung, man. When a spot with soft soil is found, they stop and bury the dung ball. Then they mate underground. After the mating, both or one of them will prepare the brooding ball. When the ball is finished, the female lays her eggs inside of it. A form of math. Pro. Pro. Fe, pro. Fe. Some species do not leave after this stage, but remain a safeguard for their offspring. The dung beetle goes through a complete metamorphosis. The larvae live in broad balls made with dung prepared by their parents. During the larvae, larval stage, the beetles feed on the dung surrounding it. The behavior of the beetles was much understood until the pioneering studies of John Henry Faber. For example, Faber. We corrected the myth that a dung beetle would seek aid from another dung beetle when confronted by obstacles. By painstaking observations and experiments, he found that its seeming helpers were in fact robbers awaiting an opportunity to steal its roller's food source. Dung beetles play a remarkable role in agriculture, man. By burying and consuming poo, they improve their nutrient recycling and soil structure. Uh, they also protect livestock such as cattle by removing the dung which is left to provide habitat for pests such as flies. Therefore, many countries have introduced the creature as for the benefit of animal husbandry. In Australia, the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, CSIRO, commissioned a research project called the Australian Dung Beetle Project, 1965-1985, which was led by Dr. George Borna sought to introduce species of dung beetles from South Africa and Europe. The successful introduction of 23 species was made most notably Orthopagus gazelle and some intermittus, which have resulted in the improvement of the quality and fertility of Australian cattle pastures, along with a reduction in the population of peasant bush flies around, but by around 90%. In developing countries, the beetle is especially important as an adjust for improving standards of, of hygiene. The American Institute of Biological Sciences report that dung beetles have the United States cattle industry at an estimated $380 million annually through burying above ground livestock feces. Like many other insects, the dry dung beetle called Jinaleg in Chinese is used in Chinese herbal medicine. It is recorded in the insect section of the Compendium of Materia Medica, which, where it is recommended for cure of 10 diseases. The scarab was linked to Kefri, who has come into being, the god of the rising sun. Ancient believed that the dung beetle was only male in gender and reproduced by depositing its juice into a dung ball. The self-creation of the beetle resembles that Caffrey who creates himself out of nothing more over the dung ball rolled by a dung beetle resembled the Ex Excavation of the ancient Egyptian sites have yielded images of the scarab and bone, ivory, stone, Egyptian fancy and pre precious metals dating from the 6th dynasty and up to period of Roman rule. They are generally small board to allow stinging on a necklace and the base bears a brief inscription of card touch. Some have been used as seals. Pharaohs sometimes commissioned the manufacture of larger images with lethal lengthy inscriptions such as the commemorative scarab of Queen Tai. Massive sculptures of scarabs can be seen at Luxor Temple at the in Alexandria and elsewhere in Egypt. Wait, oh, this is a scarab you'll buy. Bye.